on trending news today. The four accused in the murder of lawyer Willie Kimani, his client Joseph Mwende, and driver Joseph Mururi in 2016 have been sentenced by Justice Jesse Lesit. The first accused, Frederick Leliman, has been sentenced to death. Second accused, person Stephen Cherubet, has been sentenced to 30 years in jail. Third accused, Sylvia Wanjiku, sentenced to 24 years, while Peter Ngugi, who is the fifth accused, has been sentenced to 20 years in jail. The family wishes to inform Kenyans that the former Education Cabinet Secretary will be laid to rest at his home in Umiru Nyamnini Ayala on February 20, 2023. That is Umiru Village, Nyamnini in Yala sub-county, in Yala Division on February 11, 2023. The late Professor George Magoha will be laid to rest on February 11th at his rural home in Umiru, Nyamaninwa Yala Village in Siaya County. The family, through the late Magoha's colleague at the Ministry of Education, Julius Juan, has also informed the nation that there will be a farewell caravan on February 8th from Lee Funeral Home to eight destinations that defend Professor Magoha's adult life. Once a president is retired, the commander is a superintendent of police. That is what was, that has been the regiment since President Moore retired, President Kibaki, that has been the, the arrangement. And what we've done again, and this is, is within the mandate of the Inspector General. Inspector General of Police Jafet Kome has dismissed claims that former President Uhuru Kenyatta's security has been withdrawn. He has clarified that retired President Uhuru Kenyatta's security has significantly been scaled down in line with the law. Speaking in Mombasa, Kome explained that the presidential escort unit of a sitting president falls under the command of an assistant inspector general, but upon retirement, the unit's leadership is transferred to a superintendent who reports directly to a deputy IG. <music> Residents of Gichuhiro village in Kiambu County woke up to a horrific scene after an 85-year-old woman was burnt to death in her house. According to the family, the house caught fire after a gas explosion incident and efforts to put out the fire were futile. The victim, who was alone at the time, was burnt beyond recognition. Her body has since been transferred to the city mortuary as investigations continue. Seven unethical Itumbe DOK primary teachers will be held for two more days at Nyangusu Police custody in Kisi as further investigations into the incident continues. The teachers were arrested after a public uproar over a viral video of grid two pupils performing mock sex as a form of punishment. There are some schools that are not um, making economic sense on the number of students who are there and also the teachers present. There is one school, for example, that has only one student against teachers who have been posted there by Teachers House Commission, meaning most of the time the teachers are lying idle. Kisi County Education Board has closed down Karungu Secondary School in Etagosim County due to extreme under-enrollment. The teachers were transferred to other schools and deputy principal told to watch over government property pending further instructions. In the meeting, parents were challenged for establishing schools which they were not willing to support and were urged to boost the enrollment if the learning institution was to be reopened. <laughs> enye itaenda kwa mashule zetu zote uh, na hiyo ita last for for time sima na inaanza wakati shule inaanza Samburu County Governor Lali Lelele has flagged off concerns of food supplies worth 45 million shillings to early childhood development education centers across the county 212 tons of rice 40 tons of beans 11 tons of cooking oil and 7 tons of table salt were flagged off Governor Lelelit also flagged off school furniture consisting of tables and chairs for the ECDE centers. The county government has vowed to supply food to all ECDE centers at the beginning of every term. And now you're up to date. I am Nancy Nalima.